say we haven't done a haul in forever. No, it's been a while. We're so bad at doing these. I'm sorry. We keep buying books. We just can't forget to show you guys. Yeah. So we're going to start out with the two books that we got together. Yes. And the first one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. We went and saw the movie last night. <laughs> yeah, we went and saw the movie. It was really good. Can't wait to read this book. And then the second book is How Not to Find a Boyfriend by Allison Valentine. This was a dollar store find. Love the dollar store. They have really good books there, so I don't know. If you have one, just go and check it out. Because dollar store, not. Dollar Tree, whichever one you guys have it called as. Yeah. Okay, you can go first. Okay. My next book is Eleanor and Parks by Rainbow Rowell. I had been wanting to read this book forever, and I finally found it. I was very happy with that. The light is right in my face. I know, it's really bright and muggy. It is. I feel like I have stuff on my glasses too. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. So the first one I got is The Young Elites by Mary Lou. I'm so excited for her to read this book. <laughs> it was at... Uh, half price, and I was like, I, I gotta get it because it's only three bucks, so you know how that works. That's my favorite series <laughs> of this year, so. The next one is Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan, and this is the first book in this particular series. I don't know if it's just the Unspoken series or not, but it's one that has intrigued me for a while, and I had to get it. I, I have book two. Price. Yes, you do. <laughs> The next one I got is The Hunting of Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie. I've actually been watching her YouTube videos and they're pretty cool. So I'll leave the link to her channel below so you can check them out because they're pretty awesome. The next one is The Wolf Gift by Anne Rice. This is her werewolf type series that she started a couple years ago. I've been wanting to read it so I'm kind of excited to try that. Next one I've got is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I don't really know what it's about, but you know what? It has Jay Asher on the back leaving a little review, so it's got to be good. <laughs> I've got plenty of Lauren Oliver books and haven't read any of them, so I hope it's good. That one just looks good. The next one I got is Leviathan by Scott Westfield. This is the guy who wrote the Ugliest series. This is his steampunk type I world. I have all the series. Yeah. I've been, I'm trying to get more into steampunk, so I, when I found this one, I knew I had to read it. It, it needed to come home with me. It was very well loved. There's a thing on the thing. It's a little lizard that says greetings from the Bible. <laughs> Next one I got is in Incarnation. In Incarnation. Incarceration. Incarceration. In Incarceron. Incarceron. But there's no T's. How do you say incars? Guys, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's by Catherine Fisher. If you know how to pronounce it, do like that the little pronunciation thingy, thingy. <laughs> for me, because I don't know. Is incarceron? Maybe it's like Latin for incarceration. Oh I don't God. know, but I, I assume it's like a prison thing. So there we go. The next one I got is *The Sin Eater's Daughter* by Melinda Salisbury. It has an interesting premise, so I'm kind of curious to see what happens. It basically says, I'm the perfect weapon. I kill with a single touch. Oh, yeah, that one. It just looked cool. Next one I get is Rush by Maya Banks. I have these on my Kindle, but I wanted it in book form because it was there in the street. Yeah. Why not? The next one I got is Fallen by Lauren Kate. I have been wanting to read this one, and the trailer just came out. If you haven't seen it, go watch it and get them to bring it to America, because... I'll link that down below, too. I need to see this movie. So I got the book. Next one I got is Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. I've already read this, but it's one of my favorites, so when I saw it, I had to pick it up. I read this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So you've read them all. <laughs> Except for that one. Because <laughs> that's the new one. <laughs> Alright, the next one I got is Untold by Sarah Reese Brennan, and this is the second one that comes after Unspoken, and then there's one more, so it's a trilogy. And I'm kind of curious to see how this series goes, because it looks dark and mysterious. The one I have not read by Sarah Dessen is Saint Anything, but I finally found it for three dollars! So I was just like, ah, mm, in a hard book, uh -huh. too. So I got it. I stole it from the old lady's hands. I, totally I can that totally though. see you doing that. <laughs> like, legitimately. You don't need this old lady. <laughs> I can see it. She be hitting you with her purse and she's like, ah, my book. <laughs> Mine. The next one I got is Nightshade by Adria Kramer. And this is a werewolf series. I read this one earlier this year. And I decided I needed to try it. So I bought the first book. I, I love how this, like, wolfy coming like out of her colors. head. Yeah, the colors are amazing. The green, are red, green and red. Yeah. 
Next one I found is Love Unscripted by Tina Reber. Um, I have not read it or anything by her, I think, but it seems very interesting. And I've seen it all over Amazon for like four years now, so I was like, I, I want to read it. I like the puzzle piece on the front side. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Sexy, romantic, and addictive. Oop. That right there tells me you need to read it. Alright, so the next one I got is The Bad Beginnings from the series Unfortunate Event. Vents by Lemony Snicket. I got Forever by Maggie Sapphire. I have the other two, so now you have the whole series. I have the whole series. The next one I got is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is her first series she wrote before the Six of Crows stuff happened. I have been dying to read this and I found it at the thrift store for like a dollar, so I had to get it. The next one I got is Under the Lights by Abby Glines. Uh, I am so excited to read this. I have a busy month for October though, so this will not be happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I am excited because the first book was really good. The next one I got is An Ember in the Ashes by Sab I can't remember how to pronounce her name. Sabah Tahir? Tahir? That name. Sabah Tahir. We always refrain from buying sequels and stuff unless mm -hmm. you read the first one first. Because you never know. Because it had to happen when you buy them all and then you only read the first book and it sucks. <laughs> this is why Crooked Kingdom is not in this haul because yes. we haven't read Six Crows yet. And it's not usually my type of read, so mm -hmm. there's that. <laughs> the next one I got is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I just finished this in like a day. It was supposed to be my October TBR, but I just wanted to start reading it already, so I started it on Thursday. I finished it yesterday, and I'm on book two now. Obviously, it's a good book. I just started it, and I cannot put it down. It's so good. The next one I got is Shattered Moment by Tiffany King. This is her second book. I got her first one from her, um, and I found this one at the dollar store and knew I needed to bring it home just so I had the complete set of her books because she's amazing. The next one I have, which I'm pretty excited about to mm -hmm. read, is Shudder by Courtney Alameda. Ah! Uh -huh. Something like that. It's a Van Helsing lineage type book where it's a girl being like Van Helsing. Alright, and my next one is one I just picked up recently, and that is Horror High by R.L. Stein. This is a bind up of three of his Horror High books. Um, it says, Who knew romance could be so dangerous it could even kill you? We all know R.L. Stein is amazing. I'm really hoping this is a good book. But how true is that statement? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> romance can kill you. Like, even reading romance can kill you. So the next one I got was Asylum by Madeline Rowe. I'm so excited for the book. I think it's the Ex-Asylum. And then I got Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire, which is after a beautiful disaster. And I was so excited to read it. It was really good. It was a short read, too. Yeah. Good thing, because I love number ones. And then, Beautiful Devastor by Jamie McGuire. This is one of my favorite books from her. The Providence series. Yes. That's, oh, Jared is so hot. And then the last one I got for this month nice. is Furthermore by Tahara Muffy. And my last one, which I was was my like big buy of the year, of the month, was Empire Storms by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fifth book in Throne of Glass. I'm still on book two. I failed, but I had to have it. It's so pretty. You know what should have been in Akamath? What? Pictures a of picture Reeks? of Reeks, yes. Okay guys, so there's the end of our haul. We got quite a few books this September month. has been crazy. I didn't even realize I got that many books in September. Me either. It just kind of happened. I don't know what happened. But anyways, like our video, subscribe. What's your favorite book that we, you know, showed you here? Yeah. Have you read any of them? Any you look forward to reading or whatnot? Okay guys, so we'll see you in our next video. Bye!